Welcome back. This is part two of the Adobe Photoshop snaps, Snapshots Technique. Uh, I'm Rolando Gomez with LensDiaries.com. Um, as we had left off in the last video, we wanted to still darken this area where Holly is a little bit. So again, we're using the History Brush at 33% level to darken this area up. And uh, one of the interesting things about Snapshots, we're using it right now just to darken an area that we want. But like I said before in the first video, I tend to uh, shoot warm images uh, when I'm working with female models because of the white balance techniques that I use that are outlined in the blog. And uh, when you shoot warm, obviously the, the whites of the teeth and the eyes are affected. So um, what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and clean up the whites of Holly's eyes so that way they don't have a yellow red tinge to them. And if you notice, you can see some of that red and that yellow. So we'll do the same thing as we did, um, but this time as we did when we were darkening the, the pool water, but this time we're instead of using levels, we're gonna go with color balance. There are uh, six colors every photographer should be aware of, red, green, blue, and their exact opposite, cyan, magenta, and yellow. So we're going to uh, add some blue to get rid of the yellow. And we're actually gonna go to the highlights because it's the whites that we're <clears throat> correcting here. And then we'll add some cyan to get rid of the red. If you notice, uh, Holly's face there, the skin looks more, more normal than, than the saturated warm. Now we'll take, again, we'll hit the snapshots tool. So there's a snapshot. We'll label that whites. And then we'll go back to the state that we did, which was color balance, and we'll delete that. If you notice, the image will go back. Now, using the bracket tools, we'll adjust our brush size because we just want to work with the eyes right now. And we will sit here and paint the eyes to remove the redness and the white. Again, we're doing this in thirds. So I'm going to hit it. Um, well, we need to select the proper snapshot there, the white. So we're going to hit it three times at least. And you notice that the eyes get wider. In fact, her, her eye, the iris even becomes a little bit more silver, the more natural color of her eyes. And we clean those eyes up. Now, if we want to, we see very little teeth in this image, but we can also make the brush size a little bit smaller, and we'll remove the yellow from the teeth using the same layer, the, the temporary layer created by the snapshots. And then... Now the, the teeth were in the shadows, so I'm not I'm not going to change the shadow level. But if you notice, the uh, her her um, eyes are much wider. Now we saw also how it was affecting the skin, so we're going to give it just one little swipe around the face to remove a little bit of the saturation from the warmth. So it's still a little bit on the warm side, but gives us a little bit of a saturation look. And if you want to see what's going on here that temporary layer, that background layer, uh, it's actually a permanent layer uh, unless we delete it. I'm going to click the little eyeball there and I'm going to turn it off and you can see how much we've changed the image. You can see how her, her eyes even go a little bit brighter. And there you go. It's that easy. Snapshots is a great technique. You can use it for teeth. You can use it for the whites of the eyes. You can use it for burning, dodging, and, and just about any technique in Photoshop. Just keep in mind that these um, layers here are temporary layers and as soon as I close out the file they'll be gone whereas the layers in the layer palette are actually permanent layers and we either flatten those or we merge them or we delete them and that's it for now until the next uh, Photoshop tip thank you very much and tell all your friends about lensdiaries.com it will help the community grow and allow us to give you uh, more tips and techniques thank you